Well, hello folks, my name's Ian. Welcome to me shed on this New Year's Eve 2021. Uh, last video of the year, I guess. That's if I can upload it tonight. Plug soup for profit. I know it's been a long time coming. Let's talk about plugs. Yeah. Plugs. Now, I have done a video in the past about the great British plug, but they're the bane of my life. And I'm more, really more about the moulded plug where you can't get at, where you can't service it. All you can do is you can take the fuse out. Now, I don't profess to be an expert at taking plugs apart. I'll only admit to have taken lots of plugs apart. And yeah, yes indeed, I've kept every fuse that I've taken out. Don't know why. Maybe they'll come in handy someday. And unfortunately, I've got a lot more to take apart. And that's, that's not all of them. These, the serviceable ones, yeah, there's quite a few here, I've taken the lids off, but you can just unscrew the lid and you can take out the three brass pins and the bit of copper and the bit of cable. Easy peasy. It's these moulded plugs. You can't, you can't do anything with them. And I've tried, believe me, I have sawn them in half. You know, I have brutally and mercilessly beaten them to get at the brassy goodness. Oh, God, I'm beginning to sound like everyday solars. Some of these moulded plugs, like these, that are made of a cheap plastic, and you can just, I'm going to lose it, you can just smash them to bits and get the brass out very easily. But as I said, these molded ones, they're a pain. But at the same time, I'm gonna try and prove that it's worthwhile doing. Here's a tub, 13 plugs, weighs one kilogram. One kilogram, current prices will fetch me 15 pence. 150 pound a ton, 15 pence a kilogram. So I'm gonna, as a side issue, as I'm stripping these, I'm gonna strip those and then tell you at the end what the brass uh, content is. Will I get more than 15 pence or not? So one kilogram, in this case, it's a little over because of the plastic tub. I mean, what are you talking? 30 grams, whatever that is in old money. Uh, should be 2.2 pounds. So I don't think this is, these scales are quite accurate. 2.4 pounds and five eighths. I don't know. Right, let's talk about them. So as I've said, you know, I have beaten these mercilessly to try to extract the, uh, the brass pins. And it was Snobby Scrap Picker, who doesn't post so much these days. And he did a video on easy extraction of brass pins from moulded plugs. And he made plug soup. I think the term plug soup was first coined by Cruiser Mac. Might be wrong, and anyone can correct me in the chat there, but I think it was Cruiser Mac that first said in the comments, hey, plug soup. And that's what it's become known among our community of scrappers. And it's quite simple, really. You take a pan, and you take your moulded plug, and it helps, I found, if you trim it as close as you can. 
to the actual plug end. It, it doesn't really matter that much. It just makes life just a little easier. Yeah, it's true. I am going to lose a tiny little bit of copper. However, there's some I did earlier and you can't actually, you know, pull out quite a length of cable. The same for this instance, I'm just going to trim as close as I can and throw them in the pot. And that should get me going. And of course, a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And all that because it says P on the top and S on top of that. And of course, of course they would have to be copper, wouldn't they? You know, what scrapper wouldn't have copper condiments? Actually, adding salt to water slightly increases the boiling point. But I think I covered that in the last video. Right. Let's, let's boil them. So you've been following along, you know, I built a rocket stove and Bert from Scrap Firm will give me plenty of hints on how to make it better. It works and I built it for another method, but you know, I've had it going now an hour and we are indeed hot in there so we will get it hotter still but what we do is you put the plugs in and you let them simmer or boil even now then i've made a slight addition i have uh, got a tube with a 90 deep, well it's more than 90, it's, it's less than 90, it's, it's uh, 80, about 80, 80, 86 degrees on the end of that, so it's like pointing back a bit, if it points 90, it tends to send everything out there, as you will see, so it's burning well, but with some forced air, Better. That cold. I do get a roaring flame coming out of that. But I'm just going to raise the temperature of that water up a bit. I'm going to show you. Snobby scrap picker showed us all an easy way to strip wood. So there we go. Once you've uh, had your plugs simmering for a while. You need to uh, take them out. We'll do this a different way. Oh, those are warm. Show you the easy part. So while the plugs are still warm, I've not, I've never done this before, so it's quite, quite new to me. Makes sense, really. I think it was Miss Canadian Scrapper that when we do solenoids, said throw them in the freezer first. You take them out, makes the plastic so brittle. You just smash them, they fall apart. So in theory, the same thing should happen. With, with the plastic should go soft and look at that you can just pull them you can just pull them out like that and it even pulls the copper cable out and that's a hard bit getting the middles out of these 
you know, maybe, I don't know, if I gr grip it with these. I'm new at this. What like this? Ah, oh, yeah, easy. Look at that. You just rip them apart, and of course I can do these. They they just pull straight out of there. Then easy peasy, lemon squeezy, plug soup for the masses. Don't even need really to. Uh, Apply per pincers to get into the deep recesses. Right, let's try that with let's try that with with these. I don't work that way. Don't work that way. Oh, it could be getting colder. Or no, oh, it's quite warm. Sticking it again his cheek. He says, I didn't have the quite. Leverage method. There we go. Right, ripping your miss. Uh, no, what's on that? Right, ripping your missus uh, things off. Right. See, you can pull it out, and you'll even pull the copper. That's because I trimmed this one pretty short. So. Snobby Scrap Picker, thank you very much for putting me onto this method. Certainly a lot easier than sewing them and beating them to bits. Look at that. Oh no, two more left. Because these have uh, I get a good grip on that. Yeah, good grip and a good twist. First time I've done it. I mean, my technique will improve with practice. And as you can see from the amount of plugs I've got, I'm going to get plenty of practice. Give it a good grip. And... Feel free to comment and you can set better my technique. This is the first time I've made plug soup. Got out of that one. Nothing. Please, sir, can I have some more? Right. I'll come back to when I've stripped 13 plugs and I'll weigh the brass. Ian in his shed, having fun. See you later. Okay. So here's my 13, my 13 plugs. I've already done a big batch. I did about 25 in one go, which turned out to be too many. All right, perfecting my technique. I've changed, got two, two pincers, pliers, water pump pliers. And I found it's easy if I just take the big pin and pull that straight back. I can then take these and I can pull it out even with pulling the wire out. You can see it's raised and loosened the internal socket. And you can do that. And you can actually pull out the internal uh, of plastic and throw that away. Right, now well, I need to weigh these separately so there's one. 
like I said. Now look at that one. That one's got a coil in the middle. Uh, an anti, I don't know, anti, anti feedback thing, anti uh, whatever. These here, strip these in a minute. Oh, oh, oh my giddy ant. Oh, what I could tell you about plug manufacturing. Oh my god, I tell you what, I've got some advice for you. Don't do hundreds in one go. Oh, jeez, look at that. I can hardly, I can hardly grip a can. Oh, so, I, shocking. Oh, oh, terrible. I've definitely got a blister there as well. Oh, my wife ain't gonna let me in the house like that. No, no way. Oh, I tell you what. No, oh, what have I learned from this lot? <laughs> Probably going to be way the plugs in for 15 pence a kilogram. No, seriously. Just don't let them build up or don't do as many at once. End of the day, this is micro scrapping. It, it, it's, it's, it's taking something and taking the, the valuables out of it. Jesus, oh, wept. Right. It's New Year's Eve. It's 6.45. So I'm going to quit now. I'm going to go in. i still got to weigh 13 plugs worth of brass. Hey, fireworks. And uh, give you that uh, comparison. So until then, and well, happy new year. It'll be, it'll be in the new year before I upload this video. So until then, Ian in his shed, wishing you all health, wealth, and happiness. Happy new year. And uh, we'll continue this video in a day or two because I ain't doing nothing on New Year's Day. Nothing, I tell you. Well, we want... Oh. Apart from getting clean. See you in a bit. Well, hello, folks. Well, it's the uh, uh, 2nd of January now. Uh, I took a little bit of time off. I don't know whether it was uh, lifting that rocket stove back in, uh, lifting something else, or even jumping off the wardrobe. I don't know, but I pulled a muscle in my neck, and that uh, meant... Plus it was New Year's Day, so I didn't do anything at all yesterday. I've come back in here, and we'll 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 carry on with the plug soup, uh, finishing off. So yes, the bench looks a whole lot different than it did uh, on New Year's Eve. That is the the pile of uh, what I've got out of thirteen plugs. A little bit more about that later. Uh, I've I've stripped a lot more. We're getting there. I only even, you know, with the hammer, I only even got one tiny blood blister there, where I was a little bit uh, curless with the hammer. I tell you what, talking about hammers, I was watching uh, Copper King recycling and. And I was jealous. He's got this beautiful blue S-wing. Uh, I, think, I think they call them. I don't know how you call them. Brick hammer, geologist hammer. I think geologist hammer actually go to a point, you know. But he's got. A, he's got a Copper King Recycling's got a beautiful hammer. See you scrapping. You know, get over there and watch his armor action. Anyway, this is about plug soup. We've done the plug-in, souping, 
and it that's what we've got out of it well we've got a lot out of it we didn't just get that that's for 13 plugs one kilogram which we would have got 15 pence so i'm going to separate that and then weigh it okay we've set this it's on grams i've separated the copper a surprising amount of copper from the inside of the plug we'll do the math later but 29 grams okay oak of copper uh, we need to reset that to zero and the, all the brass goodiness all the brass bittiness Two hundred and forty-two grams, so almost quarter of a kilogram. So I'll quickly do some math. Well, folks, and I ain't going to bore you with this, but we've weighed it and we've done the math. I want to leave that so people can look at it, and if they can make a fault out of it, they can tell me in the comments. Copper, 29 grams, 5,800 pound a tonne, 5 pound 80 a kilogram is 0.58 pence a gram times 29 grams gives me 17 pence. That's amazing that that there is, seven, that, that there is only that is 17p. <clears throat> Brass, 242 grams, almost quarter of a kilogram. So 3,500 pound a ton, 3.50 a kilogram, 35.35 pence a gram times 2.85p. Which is about right because if you, can, if, if you then times that by four, you're going to get that figure. So 85p plus the 17p is a pound and 2p. Wow. And I say wow because when I weighed that one kilogram of plugs in the first instance, I was only going to get 15 pence, which means I have got six times the profit. Well, it's actually, having used the calculator, 6.8, seven times the profit. However, it's taken a lot of uh, profit to get the job done. Um, I can hold you better there. Yeah, there we go. And it's taken a lot of time. It's taken hours and hours and blood and pain and, and whatever. So, is it worth it? I'm a micro scrapper. It's worth it. My time, that's that's enjoyable. You know, I'm, I'm in here stripping plugs. I'm not at the side of a riverbank fishing or knocking a little white ball around a, a golf course. I'm doing something that I enjoy and I'm getting I'm getting money out of it. And I'm I'm making in this instance, wow, 6.8 times profit. End of the day. Oh, come on, find one. End of the day. If a scrapyard is willing to buy them off you at a certain price, it's because it's worth it to them. And they're selling it to someone else who's giving them a better price than £150 a ton. Maybe £250 a ton. And they're going to sell it to somebody else who's going to process all them. A lot easier than the way I've done it, by the way. And they're going to make profit out of it. And they're going to get the brass out of it. They're going to get the copper out of it. And then they're going to sell that to somebody else. Probably abroad, China. In fact, they probably only sell the plugs directly to China. Will be stripped at a very economical labour rate to make it worthwhile. 
Right, I'm just going to finish off with one little thing. It's best Bosch. Finishing off with just a couple of little things. When you... Uh, when you strip a plug... And if you... Right, so when you strip... When you get a plug inside there, there's two little... Uh, copper bits. Basically... That's what you've got. Where's a plug? All right. So the fuse, you know, I keep. Right. But then you've got brass. Now, there's a little bit of plastic around there. Now, my yard doesn't bother about that plastic. Easy enough to break off, cut off a tiny little bit of uh, copper. Now, I find that easy enough to get off. I just get some snips. And... Easy with gloves on, fold it over, it pulls the copper rivet. Out of the brass. So the copper and every little bit helps. Goes in the copper and the brass in the brass. That was even easier. Right, that's not what I wanted to show you. Right. You got a plug like that. And it's held on top like that with a screw through the middle you take that off generally speaking there's a little brass ferrule on the inside easy peasy lemon squeeze it with this type you can just bash it with an armor and you can get that little brass ferrule out however we get this type of plug. Uh, go on, find one. There we go. You get this type of plug. It's a lot more robust. It's it, it's very uh, hard wearing, thick rubber. And on the inside of that, there's also a brass ferrule. No. I don't know how to get that out, really. I've tried going, going like, say, uh, see, you see that? I know I've got it in the right place because I've drilled a little, there's a little bit of brass swarf coming out. And then it's just a matter of getting something. You don't know where anything is, do you? Not a clue. Okay. Punch and... Knocking it through. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. However... However, and this is the whole beauty of this YouTube scrapping community. If anyone knows an easier way of getting that little blast, brass ferrule out, just let me know in comments. Because that's what we do here on this YouTube scrapping community. You know, we share information. Snobby scrap picker shared the information in making plug soup made stripping plugs a lot easier. In fact, it made it twice as nice. I've done that and beer's has just run all, all the way up my arm. So, Ian in his shed. And it's, uh, like I say, it's this 2nd of January now, 2022. Wow, isn't time flying on? That little blood blister's annoying me now. Before you know it, I'll have my lathe and my mill out and I'll be doing other things. 
hold your breath. Right. Thank you all for watching. It's I've dragged it out over three or four days. I've had some comments uh, saying, why have I not uploaded the plug suit bit? Well, that become, uh, I say, I pulled this muscle in my neck no, and it hurt. And it were jumping off the wardrobe, promise me. That, those days are long gone. See, see you lot in the next one. Bye for now. <sighs>